At the Boston Marathon today, a reminder of a milestone. 50 years ago, the first female ran the marathon, and today she ran it again. Here's CBS 2's Jeremy Ross with a look at how the impact of her footsteps are felt around the world. Marathon training along the lake shore can be grueling. Sandra Wade knows firsthand from her running in the Netherlands. I participated last week in the Rotterdam Marathon. She described that as a struggle. 50 years ago, a running struggle of a different sort took place. Iconic pictures show the first woman to officially run the Boston Marathon attacked by an official. Her boyfriend interrupted the interference. She would finish, and generations of women would follow. Nobody believed a woman could or would want to run. Catherine Switzer recalls women not welcome in marathons, but a 1967 and then 20 year old Switzer shattered running's glass ceiling by pounding Boston's pavement. She crossed the finish line then and at age 70 crossed the finish line again today. The higher reason now is also to show, frankly, that an older person can stay active and healthy. She was a female trailblazer, quite literally. Yeah. It's, uh, we still fight for uh, the same rights. Weta coincidentally is in town on business to speak about gender equality, a race many continue to run. There's still a ways to go. For perspective, back in 1967, one woman registered. For this year's marathon, more than 13,000 entered. By the Lakeshore, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Jeremy, thank you. The Boston Marathon retired bib number 261 in Switzer's honor. That's the number she wore in that 1967 race.